Lady Rainbow. Hello, my friends. I'm so glad you came to see me today. I'm Lady Rainbow from Habitat Children's Museum, and today I'm going to tell you a story and visit with some of my friends with you. I'll even sing you a song and make something with you. There's just one thing you need to get ready. In my stories, we always need some rainbow magic. Now, to do the rainbow magic, you just need something that's rainbow. It could be a rainbow eraser, or you could draw a rainbow. It could be a rainbow blanket. Anything you have that's rainbow. I'll show you what I have. I have rainbow ribbons. <laughs> Aren't those pretty? And they go like this. And I use those to do the rainbow magic. Now the rainbow magic has a special sound. It sounds like this. And whenever you hear that magical sound, then you know it's time to run and get your rainbow magic. And we can wave it, and we can make magic happen in our story. Today, it's a blustery, windy day. I always like that. It makes me go outside and look up at the sky and look at the way all the trees are waving in the wind. I'm so glad there's wind today. And I'm really glad because today I get to see my friend, Francisco. <laughs> Francisco is my funniest friend. He always likes to tell me jokes and it really makes me laugh. Let's see. I think he's almost here. Do you want to help me make Francisco come out? Okay. Say, come on out, Francisco. Try again. Say, come on out, Francisco. I think it worked. I think he's coming. <gasps> oh, hi, Francisco. I'm so glad you came to see me today. Hey, Lady Rainbow. Nice to see ya. Well, Francisco, we said today we would talk about I wish I could go up there and see them up close. But I don't have a rocket ship. But that's all right. Do you want to see something really neat about how people make pictures in the stars? <laughs> okay, I'll show you. Some people, when they look up at the stars and they see all the little dots of the stars, they see pictures, they see shapes. What kind of shape do you think this is? Can you see? It goes around and around. What do you think? I'll try to connect the dots. <sighs> oh, it's kind of a circle. It's not a perfect circle, but I like it. Oh, <gasps> that look like a circle. Let's see another picture. Here's another one. This one has four little dots. Like maybe I see four little stars way up in the sky. What shape do you think it is? Can you guess? Let's see. really interesting. It sort of has two shapes. Let's see. It's a house. Wouldn't it be so neat to have a house in the stars? House? Other friend
friends came with me today to hear the story. <laughs> Do you see that? Oh yeah! I see them! Look at them out there! about the moon. Have you ever noticed that sometimes the moon is a different shape? <laughs> sometimes the moon looks a little bit like the letter C. That's a crescent moon. I think I see one right over there. Do you see it? <laughs> and sometimes the moon is a big beautiful circle and that's called a full moon. Do you see a full moon over here? Hmm. You don't see it? My friends, do you see the full moon? A big, beautiful circle moon? Where? Can you point to it? This way? Oh, Francisco, it's right there. Do you see it? Good job. Oh, I wish I could go up there and see the moon. Oh, no rocket ship, right? Right. Hey, Lady Rainbow, why wouldn't the moon eat lunch? Because it was full! <laughs> hey Francisco, I know something else about space up in the stars. They have a big galaxy. It's called the Milky Way. Look, I think my scarf looks like the Milky Way. Can you imagine lots of stars way up there that look like milk? Hmm. Oh, I wish I could go up there and see it. I just don't have a rocket ship. <sighs> hey, Lady Rainbow. What way do you eat your cereal uh. in space? Hmm? The... Milky Way! <laughs> you tell very funny jokes. Do you guys like to tell jokes too? <laughs> no, I really am sad. I just, I wish I could go up there. You know what? Talking about the stars is making me think of a story that I know. Do you want to hear it? Yeah! Yep! 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 Hmm. Okay. Well, let's see. Everybody at home, if you want to hear the story, you can get snuggly in a comfy blanket if you want. You can even press pause on the video or ask your grown-up to press pause and you can make sure you have your comfy blanket and make sure you have something rainbow for the rainbow magic. That's my favorite part. <laughs> okay, don't forget, something rainbow means it has all the colors, lots and lots of colors. Did you get something rainbow? Okay, we're ready for the story. Ready? <laughs> Once there was
as an astronaut. Francisco will be the astronaut. And he lived way up in outer space. And one day, he saw a beautiful wishing star. <sighs> Do you see it? And he looked up the wishing star and he thought, I'll make a wish. So he thought about it. Hmm. And what did he wish for? What would you like to wish for? I wish for a house. A house. So he wished for the house. And he went off to go look at his new house. And he liked it. But then he decided he needed to wish for more. He wasn't happy with just his house. Let's see what he wished for next. What did you wish for next? Hmm. I wish for, um, a castle just for me. A castle? A whole big castle just for you? Okay. And then he went to his castle. But he didn't stay happy for very long. He decided he needed something else, something even bigger than a castle. So he came back. What will you wish for this time? for lots more than he needed. He didn't need the whole world, did he? No. Oh, Francisco, I'm glad you're you. Hmm. Look, the wishing star is still there. Did you make a wish, Lady Rainbow? Hmm? Mm hmm I'm making a wish right now. But I can't hear you. Well, that's because sometimes wishes are quiet. Sometimes they're just a quiet wish in your heart. Hey, Lady Rainbow. I want to make you a present. <laughs> oh, what do you want to make me? A rocket! 
A rocket? Really? Oh, that's so nice, Francisco. Yeah, but there's one problem. <sighs> oh, what's the problem? I don't know how to make a rocket. Oh, you don't know how to make a rocket? Hmm. Maybe I can make a rocket with you. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. My friends, do you want to make a rocket with us too? Okay, I'll show you how. Okay, now we're ready to make our rocket. First, you need a good picture of a rocket. Unless you want to try to imagine it yourself. And then you could just do that. I found a good picture and put it right there. I'm going to try my best to draw that rocket, but it's okay if mine is a little bit different. Then you need a big piece of paper. I found this piece in my house. It has a little bit of dirt on it, but I still think I can make something beautiful from this paper. So I'm not going to throw it away. I'm going to use it. And then you need a big marker or a crayon. Now we're going to draw our rocket. Okay, let's see. What do you think? Do you like my rocket? I bet you could draw a really cool one. The next thing we're going to do, but you might need your grown-ups help. We're going to cut out the window so we can look through it and see all the stars. So get your grown up to use their scissors, or maybe you have your own scissors that you're allowed to use. Let's cut our window out. Whoa. Do I look like I'm ready to go to space? <laughs> I want to let Francisco into my rocket, too. <sighs> Francisco, do you see the stars? <gasps> Should we go up to space in our rocket? Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! <laughs> in that rocket made me so sleepy. Are you sleepy? Yeah, that rocket ride was exhausting. Ugh. Lady Rainbow, will you sing me a song, please? Okay, why don't you get cozy in your blanket? My friends, you can get cozy too if you want. Do you have a nice cozy blanket? Here's one for Francisco. Okay. All right, now that you're all cozy, and I hope you're cozy too, I'll sing you one little song. Starlight, star bright, first star I see tonight. Wish I may, wish I might have the wish I wish tonight. My friends, I'm so happy that you came to see me today. I'm Lady Rainbow.
from Habitat Children's Museum, and I have a special message for you. Lean in close to listen. You have magic. You can help our world. I have a good feeling about you. Oh